I owe BMX a lot because it kind of taught me to be independent, to think for myself. To, you know, at an early age, try whatever I wanted and just go for it. If I wanted to jump, take a shovel and build it. And th that kind of led into other things. But what BMX gave me in friends and family, I mean, I wouldn't be anywhere without it. It's pretty cool to see what, you know, a BMX kid can accomplish when he puts his mind towards something. And I think Thomas is a shining example of like the tenacity and the talent and the, the character that uh, we're lucky to see as BMXers. And um, I'm proud to call Thomas my friend and, uh, you know, stoked to see everything that he creates. Tom Hooper is the most productive guy I know. He juggles being a father and an amazing tattoo artist, painter, illustrator. There's one thing my friend Steve Herring said, is you're only as good as your reference. In the Renaissance, there was this whole like explosion of science and art. That kind of scientific, geometric kind of forms, I really like. I just look at it and it's like, the golden ratio, just seeing the natural spirals and all sorts of things, how things fractal. There's a juxtaposition on the body of putting something very ordered and formulated that grows organically on this completely abstract surface. Someone comes to me and says, you know, you can do whatever you want. You just don't want whatever I want. It's like, what I have to do is think about what it is that I can do that you really want, that you can't piece together and put into words. I mean, a lot of it's to do with their personality, what I feel like they could carry. And then I'm looking at the shape of their arm and what's going to sit and flow, how much coverage do they want, how's the skin that's not tattooed going to look around it. And Unknown, and then the picture starts to come together. To be able to visualize an idea and a concept for a drawing and then execute it on someone's skin and have them place faith in me, because a lot of the time my work builds itself. I know what it's going to look like in my head, but I I can't show you on paper because I can't render it on paper like I will as it wraps it around your body. And a lot of them just trust me and let me go with it. And so that that's, you know, I try not to think about it a lot, which is similar to riding. For me, it was like, you know, when you're, you go to a new set of trails and you're sitting there looking at the first jump and it's like, I don't know if it's 10 foot, 20 foot or whatever, and you're just like, okay. Right, you know, there's no easy, you don't warm, you don't coast over that first time. You, you, you know, you can't just pump it first time or whatever, and like a tablefold or a pump track. You just pedal at it and say, fuck it, and go for it. And so that's kind of, that outlook has always helped me with everything else I've done, because you just have to take that gamble and leap, you know? Because you don't know what's on the other side. You have this person in front of you and there's like two things really. The person's mind, personality, character, consciousness, soul, whatever you want to call it. And then there's a piece of meat. You know, and I'm drawing on this piece of meat that's bleeding and sweating on me. It moves, it twists. And it's, you're trying to do straight lines around something that's dipping in and out and convex, concave. You know, you finish it and it's like, wow, done it. Shake hands and I'll probably never see them again. There's a complete anti-climax because it just walks out the door. It lives its own life and it has nothing to do with you anymore. But that's fine. It's, a, it's my job. I'm drawing for a living. My job is drawing on people's skin. I mean, 
it doesn't get much better than that. So many people all over the world know him from, ta from tattooing, but not a lot of them know him as a BMXer. And uh, it's good to see him move to Austin and just get that spark back again. He's just really, really motivated to ride BMX bikes. And it's brilliant. He's the biggest BMX nerd that I've ever met. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about riding it. It was like it had passed. My friend Pat got me a bike and I started cruising around on it. I decided to, you know, actually start trying to ride a bike again properly in a safe, kind of very mellow way. Flowing through a line and just cruising through the air and just having a bit of hang time. It's like, it's kind of like going home. <laughs> <laughs>